All right, it's going to be a quick one, I hope. I just realized that I never made this video during the normal. This is not saving any time. Anyway, um, here's here's a uh, where we start to really connect energy stuff and momentum stuff. All right, um, questions like this. This is a classic one called the ballistic pendulum. Um, we're talking about firing a bullet here, uh, moving at a speed v, a uh, bullet with mass m into this pendulum with mass capital M, and then from there, uh, this thing lodges, the bullet lodges inside the what we call the bob, the pendulum bob. It lodges in there, and uh, the question is how high does the pendulum then go, right? So at some point after this, what we have is a pendulum like this, and we got the little bullet right in there, okay? Um, and we want to know what this maximum height is. All right, so two things we have to do here. First, there's a collision. There's an interaction between the bullet and the pendulum bob. And in that two-body interaction, we have to say that momentum is conserved. Or M1, V1 initial plus, well, how about this? I'm going to write it as it's the bullet moving at speed V. Well, that's really it, right? The, the uh, pendulum is just sitting there originally, initially. So um, this is going to go to, well, it's an inelastic M plus M. I'll call that Vf. Okay? So from this, what we can tell is the final speed. And final speed really means that once this thing is, once the bullet is lodged in here, this is the final speed of the interaction. So this moves now at some speed Vf, and that's equal to um, little mv divided by m plus m. Now, once these, once this uh, this system, the bullet and mat and bullet and, and pendulum system, um, well, starts to behave like a pendulum, then we're going to use conservation of mechanical energy to look at the second part, or to look at its motion as a pendulum. So there we would say that initial mechanical energy equals final mechanical energy. And we could say that, uh, well, I'll do this, GPE initial plus KE initial equals GPE final. Oh gosh, I have six minutes, plus KE final. we got to speed up. Um, so if we call this height zero, we can get rid of uh, this. At the top, we can get rid of this, right, max height. Now, notice, the speed here, the final speed of the interaction, goes into the initial speed of the pendulum's motion. So if we write this as 1 half, well, let's see, m is really the two masses together, v squared. Oops, yeah, sure. Squared equals m, um, well, that's really the two masses together, gh. Notice the, you know, mass of the thing divides away. And I'll move this g over here. Um, how about, well, we'll just do this. All right, so there's an expression for the maximum height this thing reaches. You know, does it, will it help you to memorize that? I don't think so. But what what we, and I definitely would not try to memorize that. Let me be as clear as, about that as I can. But, you know, two different steps we're doing here. One, we're treating this as a two-body interaction. In any two-body interaction, we will uh, conserve momentum. Next, once this thing, in this case, once this, uh, you know, becomes a pendulum, well, pendulums, pendula, are classic examples where we can conserve mechanical energy. Okay, here's one more while you fourth block people are waiting outside. Hang on. No, no one there yet. So here's a different one. It's, you know, it's not a pendulum thing. Um, let's do this. If we call this, say, max M, and then we'll call this, say, max little m. Well, we're going to have max M slide down this cable uh, or down this frictionless ramp, let's call it, right? Frictionless. It's going to bump into this one, um, and let's say there's an inelastic collision there.
there. It doesn't have to be inelastic, of course. Um, and then the two things together are going to do this and become a horizontally launched projectile. Okay? So this, this is just like an awesome sort of review question. All the stuff, lots of the stuff we've done this year. You know, first we can say for M slides down the ramp. That's kind of our first part, right? Well, you know, we probably have to say it comes from this height H. All right? So we could say that, um, well, MGH initial is one half M V final squared. And V final is right here, just before the interaction between big M and little m. Moving with a speed V final. <laughs> You're waiting for me out there. Ah, what am I going to do? I got to let you in. All right, I'll pause and finish this later. How am I going to do that? Hmm. It's going to be tricky. I'll have to post two videos probably. Yeah, okay. Bye. Thank you.